So the, the next thing I want to cover is the locate screen in, in the CRM system. Um, by default, when you come into the locate screen, you can do things like SMTI. And this will go out and find everybody that's last name starts with SM and their first name starts with TI. Um, so you don't have to type in the full customer name to be able to find anybody. Um, so, and, and it also is a combination of information here that allows you to locate the customers that you're looking for. Now, if we come up here and hit the reset button, um, let's say that I wanted to, to get more advanced here. So I want to open up the advanced search and I want to look at all of the customers that we've done anything with boat sales. And there's a, a list and these are contact types that we've set up in the system. And keep in mind, this is in the demo database, so it's not really uh, a good uh, example of, of how all this stuff works. But um, if I want to look at only my employees, um, if I want if I want to look at all the golf courses that we do business with, so it, it's a really quick way to narrow down the list and see okay th this is how many customers we have that are golf courses. Um, so maybe we want to do a, a, a targeted uh, ad campaign to those guys or an email list or you know something. This gives me the ability to go in and drill into that that information with a click of a button without having to go and try to figure it out by hand. Um, so these are some of the examples of why it's important to go through the setup screen and actually think through the process of how you're going to keep track of all this stuff and, and you know, make it more useful for your particular application. Now, some of the things that you have here in the advanced search, um, we can actually search by customers that have gotten to a particular level. Um, so if I clear this and tell it I want to look at everybody that we've gotten to a formal introduction on, or maybe I want to look at everybody that we've actually done a price discussion with. Um, so it gives me the ability to, to very quickly drill into a particular subset of those customers to try to check up and see what's going on with them. Um, we can also narrow it down by sales rep, by assigned support rep, or by time zone. I want to look at all the customers that are in the eastern time zone, for example, because it's early and I don't want to waste time calling people out in California or you know whatever it happens to be. And again, it depends on your type of business as to whether some of this stuff is relevant. Um, but uh, it is here and, and it's good to know how to use it. Um, some of the other options you have here are being able to look at certain customers that have come in for different types of purchases. So example, major unit sales, I can come in and say, I want to look at all of the major unit sales customers that we have had that have come in to buy something from us. So it gives me the ability to see how many people have come in and bought a major unit, how many people have come in to do a quote, how many people have come in to do a service ticket. So and you can narrow it down by date range. So I, I only want to look at the service tickets from this range, to this date to this date. Um, I can also narrow it down by brand, by model number, by unit type, um, whether it's an internet customer. Um, you can narrow them down by the sales campaign. This is where we were talking earlier about setting up uh, sales campaigns or, or contact uh, campaigns. Um, so there, there's a, and, and don't confuse this sales campaign with a, a sales promotion that you would do over an inventory that this is completely different this is just a way to help me organize customers to be able to find the ones that i'm looking for um, prospects no service reference purchased so there's a and, and you'll also notice up here there is a contact is and a contact is not um, this allows me to look at it i want to look at everybody that have purchased but a, but are not a prospect um, so it, it kind of gives you the ability to to have a different way of, of getting to that, that, that group of customers you're looking for. Um, a good example of that is we actually at Nizix, we track whether or not a customer is using Lizzie and whether or not they have gone through training for just as an example. So I could go in and select customers that have, that are currently selected as using Lizzie but the not part would be they have not completed training. 
So that would give me a list of customers that we currently are actively training uh, at this particular point in time. So it, it, there's a lot of usefulness to these things if you take the time to learn them and, and to actually uh, play around and start using it. And from a sales perspective, um, it's extremely powerful because it allows us to go in and start uh, organizing our customers and our contacts and correspondence and stuff in a completely different way so that we can get to exactly that group of customers that we're trying to target.